everyone. Welcome back to this month's Love Dub blog. We have an amazing advocate from Austin, Texas. He's a senior in high school, Cole. But what he actually did what was so amazing is that he made a video about teen vaping for his Eagle Scouts. And he's awesome. here with us about it. Thank you, Cole, so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Of course. Well, I want the viewers to get to know you a little bit. So I'm going to ask you three different questions just to get to know you. It's going to be fun. So the first one is I heard you have a very big interest in film. And I cannot pick my favorite movie of all time. Probably, though, like Guardians of the Galaxy or something weird like that. But I want to know your top three favorite ones. If you were like stranded on a desert island, what would you bring? The first one I was thinking about when you started asking the question was Guardians of the Galaxy. No way, that's my favorite movie. Yeah, yeah no, okay. I, I love that movie. It's so wonderful. That's, that's a good movie. Uh, but yeah, so like probably Guardians, um, and these are more sort of series, but I'd take uh, Guardians, I'd take mm -hmm. the Lord of the Rings trilogy, really good. and I'd take um, Godfather. Wow, really? Oh my gosh, my roommate loves the Godfather. Maybe I'll have to tell her you said that. I really like how you cheated there too with the trilogy thing, but yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, let, I'll let it slide. Yeah. Um, okay, so number two, what are your favorite sports? Um, so I, I really like watching football. Uh, I play football at my uh, high school. Uh, I punt. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm the one going out there on fourth down to, to flip the field and stuff. And so um, they couldn't do it without you. No. And, and yeah, no, I, I'm a, like a, a pretty big person, but I'm weirdly flexible. And so I can just, you know, uh, I did almost break my nose once, uh, oh. like almost like by kicking myself in the oh, face. I bet. Um, but, be flexible yeah. for that. um, and then I also, uh, used to do wrestling as well. Uh, oh my gosh, cool. Uh, I, I, I had a, too many shoulder injuries and then I had to stop. Uh, but I'm planning to try out for football again in college. <gasps> no way. Okay. That would lead to my next question. What your future plans are. So tell me about where you want to go to college, all the things. Cool. So, um, right now I am, uh, going through the college, uh, like application process, um, I've been looking at colleges. Um, I want to go to college to study, um, like, like a sort of two things, like an economics and a film, um, something like economics related, something film related. And even though those are like two, you sort of think they're weirdly different. I feel like they connect pretty well as like yeah. the, 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 regardless of if I want to go sort of a business path, the communication skills from film will help. And if I want to go a, a, a more, uh, film path, knowing the economics of the film industry is helpful. Um, and so I want to do something uh, in that vein. And so I've been looking at a lot of uh, liberal arts schools, like especially small liberal arts schools, because they let you do a lot of different things. Yeah. And, I, and I do a lot of different things. Um, and so uh, I've been looking at a lot of schools in uh, California, uh, the Northeast. Um, mm -hmm. Some schools that I've uh, recently been looking at are uh, Claremont McKenna College, uh, okay. Wesleyan, um, UPenn, mm. um, but yeah, a, a, a bunch of, a uh, bunch of schools that I'm interested in. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. You sound so smart, Cole. Way to go. Okay. So now to get into talk about tobacco in game, vaping, tobacco products, I want to ask you another question. What happened, really what started this for you, but what really caught your attention about tobacco use and vaping among your peers? So I started noticing, um, like, vaping uh, usage in middle school, which is sort of when it started um, as some of the, the older kids were getting into it and, and sort of passing it down. And, and so in sixth grade um, was the first time where someone that I knew had got caught vaping. Um, and so then I got interested in that because I was wondering, why, why would they do that? Um, why would that be something that they would start doing? And right. so I, uh, and so I started re researching it a little bit, um, but it didn't really come back until, um, high school, uh, when it really took off and, um, and like in the football locker room, so many people were vaping because like, also there, there, there aren't cameras there. Um, there are like the coaches don't usually go in there 
And even when they do, the people usually have a lookout waiting for a coach to come. They'll flick the lights on and off and everyone will put their vapes away. Yeah. Um, like, it's just like, and so like half the team has a vape in their locker. Um, and so it, it almost just became normal. And I never sort of uh, like, I never got completely used to it. And I'm all, I, I also just don't like things that mess with my head. Um, and so I, I like, I, I never even thought about like, why would I do that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and so um, I don't generally hang out with uh, groups that usually do a lot of drugs and stuff like that. And so really my experience with it was especially through football. Um, and um, uh, the thing that actually pushed me to making this, uh, this video was I was coming back from football practice one day and I was get it, going into the locker room and there was a, one of my teammates who was standing in front of my locker who was rifling through my bag. Um, and he was, he was trying to steal money out of my wallet. Um, and so I saw him doing this and my first thought was like sort of the same feeling that I had in middle school, which was just like, why? Like, why would you be doing this? Why would you be stealing from me? Yeah. Um, and we had like an hour before school started, uh, after practice ended. And he, he like was a little nervous at first, but I was like, I don't like, I'm not going to report you to anyone. I'm not like, just, I, I want to hear why you're doing this. And so I, um, uh, we talked for about an hour. Um, and I learned that he had start, he had gotten into vaping when he was in middle school. He had an older brother in high school. Um, and he would go to parties with him, and then he, he started vaping at those parties. And then um, as he got into high school, his brother uh, had started selling uh, vapes. And uh, his brother would get vapes from a dealer behind the middle school uh, from an adult. And then um, he would give them to his younger brother, uh, and his younger brother would sell them uh, out to the school. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and he was like, yeah, so I had just gotten in a shipment. Like he referred to it as a shipment. Like, like, like I, I just got an inventory, um, of, of pods and, um, and they were stolen out of my locker. Um, and I don't know how, to, and I, so I, I started asking people trying to borrow pods to see if I could get like enough. And I started trying to like, uh, get money because I, like I don't know how, how I'm gonna pay my brother back and especially I don't know what's gonna happen if my brother can't pay his dealer back um, and he was just genuinely terrified um, and mm -hmm. as we were talking he was slowly sort of having the realization that like he's a drug dealer like he, he, he hadn't ha sort of like he knew that he sold drugs but there's like all the connotation that comes along with the like saying that you're a drug dealer and he like he was realizing that like you never thought that you would like go through high school and become a drug dealer. And so he was like really freaked out by it and, and having a lot of sort of uh, thought about it. And he was t t telling me about how like the previous summer he had tried to get off, um, but he didn't really know how. And so he had just tried to stop, but he didn't like, he didn't, couldn't tell his parents because he would worried that he would get in trouble. Um, and so he had no sort of, he had no support system whatsoever. Um, and eventually, and he couldn't get through, um, withdrawals and ended up falling back into vaping. Um, and so, uh, hearing this, one of my questions was sort of like, like, what did you know about vaping? And he was like, I knew almost nothing. Cause, and, and, and I concurred with this. We, like most of my research had been on my own. We had learned about a lot about drugs, but it, uh, vaping had always sort of been thrown in as like, a, oh yeah, and vaping also exists. Um, but like, it, it was usually just like cigarettes and like, like, like the, uh, and like weed and, 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 and all these other drugs, but sort of vaping was sort of pushed off to the side. Um, and so I started going, uh, through like YouTube videos and, and all, all these things to try to find stuff that was, um, both good information, but also like accessible to, uh, teenagers. And a lot of what I found was, um, sort of, it was good information, but it was, like, made by adults, and it was, uh, like, a little bit preachy, and a little bit, like, which is, it's hard not to be, 
because that's what mm-hmm. you're, you're telling people not to do something. It's hard to not right. sort of have that. And so I was, uh, I was like, what I'm looking for is I want to find a video that is um, sort of very genuine, authentic, maybe even from like a, like a, like a student, like a teenager's point of view. Um, and, and then I sort of realized, wait, I could make this. That, like, I don't ha- like, I'm looking for this. I can't find it. I could make this. Yeah. And so uh, I was, uh, at the moment, I was trying to uh, find out, uh, figure out what I was going to do for my uh, Eagle Scout project uh, for Boy Scouts. And uh, the only requirements for it was that there has to be volunteers and it has to be for a, um, a nonprofit. And so I realized I could make this video and give it to my school for them to use. Um, mm-hmm. And so uh, we started with production. We were like, uh, like I started writing a script. Um, uh, I set up interviews. Uh, we were going to do the interviews in classes. We were going to uh, do the rest of the film stuff um, like it, uh, in classrooms, on bleachers, on st- stuff like that. And, uh, and then the pandemic hit and all that got thrown out of whack. We weren't able to use any of the film equipment. We weren't able to film in the school. All the interviewees couldn't be in one place. Uh, and so we switched a bunch of stuff. And I actually am very happy with how it turned out with that um, because all the interviews were over Zoom, which actually meant that you could like, during the interview, you could see everyone's reaction to what everyone was saying as they're like all up there on the screen at once. And you can, mm-hmm. and, 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 and it seems like it's more of a conversation and sort of a genuine uh, like, perspective of a teenager on it because you're just asking them questions it's it's not about like um like don't do drugs it's about like what are the genuine experiences and where do they lead um and uh and so we did the interviews over zoom we filmed the rest of it all on a phone uh uh because all the film equipment was in a locked room and the uh and the teacher was going to open it ended up getting sick um Mm -hmm. And so we, we ended up filming it all on a phone outside, doing like some weird sound work on it, having, uh, and so we made that. And, uh, and so now I'm in the process of trying to push it out to as many people as possible um, yeah. to, to get more, uh, uh, more eyes on it. Um, yeah. Because I feel like it can genuinely help people. Like my friend who, and uh, my friend who stole from me actually is in the video. Um, he, uh, at the end of the video, there's a, uh, an interview with a, uh, current vapor, which, who's like anonymous and, uh, and his voice is disguised, but that is my friend, um, from, uh, from the locker room. Uh, and so he, he got to tell his story. Yeah, that's um, awesome. Um, that's interesting though, because, uh, the way, like our stories are so different regarding like what we've seen with vaping, but yet it started both in sixth grade when I saw someone do it in the bathroom and I was like, what is this? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, but next question. What do you think needs to happen to help other people our age or youth or even younger really understand the dangers of tobacco and vaping use? Um, I feel like there, there has to be more push but, uh, from people their age. Um, because it's really hard to get to people who are like preteens and teenagers because they are going through like middle school and high school and trying to become themselves and trying to uh, like rebel against who they're um, like the the authority figures in their lives and become their own people. And so I feel like there's... uh, some difficulty with that but I feel like the answer is sort of just respecting them uh in the way that like um they can like they're they're teenagers they're they can understand concepts like addiction and um and like the consequences of things that they do like they can understand that if you sort of put it to them in a in a way that sort of respects their intelligence and um and and is sort of very genuine um it doesn't feel like you're trying to uh, trick them or scare them or like anything like that. You're just being like, hey, here's the genuine stuff. Like, here's the genuine information. Um, like, it's your body that you're going to be living with for the rest of your life. 
you're going to have to make these decisions um, and no one can make them for you. You're going to have to make these decisions that will affect you for the rest of your life. And, uh, and, I, and I hope you make ones that are right for you and ones that will help you in your future. And so I, I feel like that's sort of the message um, that will um, sort of get to the teenagers and preteens. Um, because I feel like a lot of the stuff where it's like a, like a goofy uh, little animated character being like, don't do drugs, or like, a, like, a, um, like someone trying to use like scare tactics, it just ends up being like with people um, wanting to rebel against it because they don't feel right. respected. Right. I 100% agree with everything you just said. That was really good. Uh, okay, last one, Cole. Is there one thing you could tell your friends about what you've learned? If there is one thing you could tell your friends about what you've learned, what would it be? I think one of the things with vaping um, is that just because we don't know doesn't mean it's not dangerous. Um, a lot of the, th the, uh, the things I've heard from people who um, do vape or are not scared of vaping or st stuff like that, where they, where they are um, uh, people who, who do vape, they, a lot of the stuff that they say is usually, usually starts with, well, isn't it safer than cigarettes? It, 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 like, what's even dangerous about it at that point? Like, I don't understand. Um, and uh, and the, the issue is that we don't know, like, we, we do know stuff. There, there, are, there is information that we do know about uh, the dangers of vaping. But there are also, in, there's also definitely information that we don't know yet. Um, because it's relatively new. We don't have much information on very long-term effects because it hasn't been around long-term. So those effects haven't shown themselves. Um, we can make predictions of what they're going to be, what what the what the different uh, like uh, effects are going to be. But like in the end, we we're sort of running blind, and like that's really dangerous and kind of scary. Um, and I feel like it's uh, it's sort of pushed off as well, we, like like we don't know anything yet, so it's fine. And the fact that we don't know anything doesn't make it fine. It, it's quite the opposite. Um, right. And so I, I, I feel like that's one of the sort of uh, misconceptions that I've seen the most. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, Cole, thank you so much for being here. I mean, you have been so fun to interview and you are just so smart. Like I can just tell you are going to excel in college, especially with, I mean, a double major. I mean, come on, you got this. Um, and I would be so interested to see any film things that you do in the future. I will be one of your first viewers. So thank you so much for being here today, Cole. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So I really want you guys to go see Cole's video that he was just talking about throughout this vlog. You can go to teenvaping.org to go see that. And I also want you guys to go to tobaccoandgame.org and join the Tobacco and Game movement with the American Heart Association and watch the six new videos that were uploaded on there too. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and have a great week.